time you start your Mac, you'll see this desktop, just like I have here. You may notice that applications open automatically when you start your Mac. That's a topic for another video. But you'll want to get used to this desktop because this is kind of like the heart and the control center of your Mac. So let me give you a quick overview of what you, you're seeing here. I'm going to move my mouse up here to the top corner. And up here you can see a menu bar. And on your Mac, the first word you see here will always be the application that is the primary application being used at the time. So in this case, the application is called Finder. And Finder is kind of like uh, the Windows Explorer of your Mac. We'll talk in depth about Finder in another video. You'll see in the menu bar, you'll have options. And you can click on one of these options and you'll get these drop down menus. You'll also see on this part of the screen, you'll have some application icons and some informational icons like the day and the time and some other things. We'll talk about some of these in another video, but that is your menu bar. Okay, you'll see your desktop background. And a lot of times you'll have files that live here. And I don't know if you're a person who likes to put a lot of files on their desktop, but I personally like to keep a clean desktop. So I don't keep a lot of files on my desktop. Here at the bottom of your screen, you have the dock. The dock contains applications you have on your Mac. And I should say it contains the standard applications that come with your Mac. And as you install more applications, you may find that they install additional icons down here. We'll look a little bit more at this dock in other videos, but the dock is one of the easiest and best ways to launch an application. So with all of these applications, if I find one that I want to launch, all I have to do is click on it and it will launch the application. This is the new notes application and we'll check this out possibly in another video or in my full course on the basics of using your Mac. For now, I'm going to quit out of this application and show you that there's a couple other things on the dock. You can see here a divider line and next to that you have the downloads folder. This is very important because whenever you download something from the internet, it will come and rest into this folder. You also have a trash can. Now the trash can operates very much like the recycle bin in Windows. So when you delete something in Windows, it would go into the recycle bin. Same concept on the Mac. When you delete something, a file or a picture or something, it will go into the trash can and it won't disappear immediately. And if you need to restore that deleted item, you can come to the trash can and restore it. Okay, so that's a basic overview of the desktop. Your Mac does one other thing, and if I click here on the Finder, the nice blue smiley face, you'll see that I have files in here. But if I drag this out a little bit, you can see that I've got some folders here. On your Mac, you have several default folders. AirDrop is a topic for another video. It's a way to get files dropped between Macs or iPhones or iPads. All of my files kind of lists uh, a bunch of files that are on the computer. iCloud Drive is your online storage for documents and files. You've got applications and this is where all of your applications live. Now I'm going to be using the word application in this video series. On Windows, you would use the word programs, but on the Mac, they're called applications. So just try to get used to some of the terminology of the Mac because I might use the words program and application interchangeably. They're basically the same thing. When you're using a Mac, you have to kind of pick up the lingo as we go. Okay, you've got the desktop, which is what's right behind me and I don't have any files on the desktop right now so you can see that's blank. And you've also got some other special folders that are automatically created for you 
things like documents and downloads. The Mac also creates some special folders for movies, music, pictures, and maybe some other things. But we'll take a look at those in other videos. I just want you to get a brief overview of where your files can live. They can live on the desktop or you can put them into one of these special folders and I'm kind of an organization freak. I like to file my files in the right folders. So all the documents go into documents, all the photos go into pictures, and you get the idea. So that's just a brief tour of the desktop, the menu bar at the top, and the dock in the bottom.